how do I know if I look like a model? Modeling isn't about being beautiful, being pretty. Do that research regularly. You will be visually educated. Do I have model-like face or not? Let's find out. Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana, I'm a fashion photographer and stylist. And today's video will be a spontaneous video. I recently got a comment to my video, one of my recent videos called most popular facial features in modeling, types of model looks, what agencies are looking for. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. I'm just sharing with you guys the types of looks that are popular in modeling. Yeah, it's really interesting, especially if you're new to the industry. And the person has asked me, how do I know if I have model-like face or not? And yes, I've answered there, but I thought that it would be interesting to share with you too. Because, you know, when I got such questions like, how do I know if I look like a model? let's say we're not talking about the measurements and industry requirements I've talked about it in one more video of mine first you need to check out those measurements obviously and you need to fit into those measurements your age should be like this that and that and etc and we're just talking about the face the faces and it's always hard to talk about this it's always hard to answer because modeling isn't about being beautiful being pretty Sometimes people um, think wrong about this. For most of the people who aren't related to the industry, modeling and being a fashion model means being super beautiful or being like super sexy woman if we're talking about the girls and yeah, super handsome man. <laughs> uh, let's say like this. Um, okay, and it's always hard to say that the person the person's face isn't good fit for modeling industry especially when i got the dms and the girls are asking me do i look like a model do i fit into modeling industry and those girls might be really really beautiful really pretty but somehow somehow they aren't and it's always hard for me to answer because i don't want to hurt them it doesn't mean that they are but they aren't pretty enough it's not about the beauty at all and how do you understand if you are a good fit hmm. why and why this question is hard for me also oh just because it's like a third feeling at least for me when i see a person i can say for sure if her or his look is suitable for the industry or not it's just a feeling really when you see a person you can tell for sure if he or she can be a model or not And to give you a good example, I would like to talk about the art. I started the history of art, I have started arts, I used to paint and I know this, um, let's say I'm good at this as well. And the same with the art students, if you study this, you can tell who is the painter of this particular painting when it was made when it was painted what century it was what style it is and everything you either know it or not 
which also means that you can educate yourself and you can learn and develop the, that taste in art, in music, in anything and same with the modeling. So basically you can educate yourself and you can learn and after that you'll be able to say if the person is a model, a potential model or not. So for this you can just check out regularly the models.com website. You can check out modeling agencies websites, see show packages. What is show package? If you don't know, it's like the photos with the models headshots or like any photos of the models that are signed with the modeling agency, the models that are going to participate in the fashion week, in the shows, in the fashion shows. That's why it's called show package. So yeah, you can check those show packages and you can find them on models.com or anywhere around the internet. You can check out model agency's website, see their new faces, their main boards, their stars. Um, they are top models, I mean, and yeah, you can just do that research regularly and after that you will be visually educated and you will be able to figure out if someone is suitable for this industry or not. Yes, the face is important, but to tell the truth, everything is important because this industry is hard and although it has been changing through the past years, as we know the diversity and everything, we have the plus size models right now, we have the boutique model agencies who accept models that aren't that tall and I'm talking about all that in how to become a model video and many other videos but still if you would like to be a top model like if you're thinking about modeling as your career then you need to fit into all of those strict standards and both your face your measurements your age everything should be as required by the industry and yes, it's hard, but if you would like to try it as a hobby or if you're just thinking that you would like to try it, I think you should do this. <laughs> I'm not telling you that you can't, but yeah. And talking about how you can find out if you have a model-like face or not, now I will tell you a secret, the easiest way to find out if you fit into this industry or not, if you have a face like <laughs> A model like face or not is just to ask a professional it's the easiest way it will be the quickest way obviously you can just contact modeling agency I don't recommend you to contact random people on Instagram or anywhere on social media for example the photographers because some of the photographers aren't working in exactly fashion you know, there are many niches, many types of jobs people do and they not always know everything about everything. So if you contact modeling agency, especially if you would like to be a model and you're thinking about modeling as your career, as your future career, just contact modeling agency and then you'll get the clear answer. So I think that's it for today. If you have any questions or video suggestions, I'm always happy to hear them. So I will see you in my next videos. Bye.